Hey guys, um, this is my Bailey Poo. Um, now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys how, oof, my bra is showing, how I managed to keep um, this hair in his eyes cut and also the hair around his face trimmed. The reason I do not go to a groomer is because I am scared to death to get his uh, rabies vaccine. Um, I've canceled numerous times um, because I actually read some stories about um, the Yorkies being so small that um, some of them have died from getting the rabies vaccine. Now, my puppy does not go outside at all. Um, he is 100% trained on puppy pads. And if I have taken him out, I've, I've held him the whole time. So I'm not worried about him getting in contact with, um, you know, any uh, anything, you know, that could have possibly come in contact with rabies. However, I did say once he becomes full grown, I will get the uh, rabies vaccine. Um, I just, I want him to get to his full weight before I do it. Now, what I normally do is I wear a uh, Bailey out first. Um, because he's a puppy, he is hyper and um, he doesn't like the scissors and all that in his face. So... Um, one of the things is before you even start taking your dog to the groomers, you probably should get them um, used to noises such as the hair dryers, um, clippers, and all that. He still won't really let me use the clippers on his legs and stuff, so I scissor trim him while he's sleeping. So I'm waiting for Bailey to go to sleep, and as you can see, he is sleepy. Um, I've already done his face, but I will show you what I do. Um, and uh, also, because when you're with the scissors, you have to be careful because if they're young, they uh, jerk their head away from the scissors because it freaks them out. Um, so typically what they say you could do is to take a spoon and rest it on their eyes so they get used to the metal. But um, I'll just normally like, I'll show you what I do. I've already done his eyes for the day. Okay, Bailey, have a seat. Have a sheet, puppy. Let me move the camera closer. Okay. What I typically do with Bailey is um, one of the things you want to do, they have this hair here. And it's okay. You can hold the hair. But to, I normally, like I'll um, comb his hair wherever I want it, you know. And I'm lightly holding hair. It's giving me control over his face without him jerking. However, he can still jerk out of my hand because I'm not holding it, um, you know, extremely tight. So what I typically do is I just rest the scissors here. The blade is high where he can't, you know, um, like get poked in the eye, but it, it makes him comfortable with the fact that the scissors are here. Okay, so normally when this sits here for a few seconds, then I'm able to actually take the scissors and I still do it like up. I don't necessarily do it like this because I don't want to poke his eye. But if I rest it here for a couple seconds, then he's calm and then next I would just lightly like go like that and get the scissors I mean snip the hair these are not the scissors I use I was just I these were the first ones I saw for the sake of the video I actually use um, professional hair scissors um, mainly because they have human like hair and I don't want my baby having split ends um, next for the bang area what I typically do, again, I hold him, you know, in my arms, and I grab his poor little face like this, and I just comb everything forward, you know, because um, I don't like it super short, but it also blends it better in the back. So I'll just comb a little bit at a time, and, you know, and um, I'll just cut straight across like that. Um, and when I used to try to just blend it, it, it wasn't looking that great, but um, if you can see, it barely, let me see if he'll let me show you. Come here. Yeah, that's my puppy. See, it just blends wonderfully um, on the top of the head. Then, when I get to um, this very part, the uh, part above his eyes, again, what I do is, because the scissors still scare him. Again, I hold it up here for a couple seconds so he knows, like, okay, you know, he's used to the fact that this is on his eyes. And then I just take it across. 
like above his eye. All the hair that will catch, you know, the bang area, I just do that. So next what I do, if Bailey would relax, sometimes I'll cut his ears, but I actually, I love this, uh, all this up here. So I don't always do that. You know, I actually, I really like it. I think it makes him look cute. So I don't trim behind the ears. But what I will do is, um, and this is a hassle because he wants to eat the comb all the time. But, okay, relax, relax. So I just take it, you know, like this. And um, I just basically, you know, cut straight across whatever I see that's out of line. And again, he's a puppy. So, you know, the first thing he wants to do is eat the scissors because Bailey wants to eat everything um, that's in his face. And I actually see a little hair right here. Bailey, see? So, <laughs> so it does take a really long time for me to trim his hair, his face and everything. But, um, you know, for the most part, it comes out pretty even. Um, it would be a lot more even if he went to a groomer, but again, they want you to have a rabies vaccine. And on top of that, so your puppy won't be freaked out. You want to kind of just start grooming them yourself. I just keep his face trimmed nicely. Um, occasionally I'll trim this hair back here and I just use a blending technique, um, by stylus and that would pretty much, um, consist of. Let me see if I can show you. I'm not going to actually cut the hair, but I would typically go in like that. And when it falls, it'll blend, you know, um, good. Because again, he's scared of the clippers. So I don't typically um, clip Bailey. And to do his feet and everything, oh my gosh, it's a hassle. Um, so yeah, that's what I do for my Bailey poo. And his face stays nice. Hmm? See, uh, my fish stays nice and a uh, sheepy, mommy. Hmm? Are you sheepy? Yes, and everybody say happy birthday to Bailey because he has six months today. This is my baby. Mm hmm. But yeah, um, get him used to the uh, to the scissors and what you can do as far as the hair dryer because that used to freak him out. Um, now I just let him air dry anyways, but um, you could cut the dryer on around him. For, uh, a couple minutes each day or whatever and he'll get used to it um but with Bailey he doesn't like water at all so he actually um just runs around the house and he's dry in like 10 minutes so I don't have to dry him because he just he absolutely hates water so he's like he dries himself instantly so that is it you guys those are just a couple little tips to um you know keep your babies um you know, hair out of their eyes and all that. And just to trim around the, the, the face, at least until you can get to the groomers. So, yep, that's it. So, say bye.